get the Death Star home now is priority one. And that will hold the Death Star well enough for me. Tornado. Source. Radar indicated rotation. Ah. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Death Star screwed, bro. Today, we're not going to the Lego store for release day because Target should have everything I want and need. I wore my Star Wars shirt to buy Harry Potter because that's what you're supposed to do. Not seeing a whole lot of Harry Potter on the, ooh, this is new. Not seeing a whole lot of Harry Potter on this aisle. I don't know why I said, ooh, this is new. I don't really care about that set, but no Harry Potter on this aisle, but it's not the Harry Potter aisle. No Harry Potter on the normal aisle either. So looks like I have to ask for it out of the back and I can't find an employee here. I went up the entirety of the thing and there's nobody here. Update, I found someone and I'm gonna get them there in the back. Harry Potter Legos acquired. So we got the Battle of Hogwarts, the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, and the Hogwarts Express and Hogsmeade Station. That was 130 bucks too, it's actually kind of crazy. But three pretty good sets, sets that I was most excited for is what I bought. I didn't care to do any of the rest of the stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna build these and make reviews. I've been editing like a picture reveal video. Pearson's still working on the Harry Potter train now. He's almost done like very, very fast on this. And then I just got in the mail something from Canada. Ooh, paper towels, I needed those. Actually, I was kind of running out. Here, look at these. There's one. It actually it's, good. it's the helmet set, but it's been given like a torso thing. I thought it was wild. Here's this one, Boba Fett and then Darth Vader. You see, you're gonna steal designs, right? You're stealing the helmet design for Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper, right? And they don't steal the helmet design for Darth Vader. They steal the, that's the bust design from the 2019 Star Wars Celebration set, not the 2020 helmet set for no reason. And now none of them match because we can't have nice things, even when it's not nice things anyway. <laughs> so yeah, pretty wild. But yeah, those will do a video on soon. It's Friday and UPS just showed up with this massive package. This one I got in from Maddie's Minifigures and this is stuff that will uh, be on Whatnot. So if you're still not on Whatnot, sign up for the link in the description below. You get a $15 credit on your first purchase. Okay, this is a lot of bubble wrap for something that uh, frankly doesn't really need bubble wrap, but good job Maddie for making sure these arrive. Oh my God, it's, oh, how much bubble? It's all bubble wrap. I got scammed. If you ever wanted to know what 500 Blue Milk Lukes look like, there you go. If you need one, I got them on mnrshop.com. Oh, wait. mnrshop.com got killed by Shopify. Boo, Shopify. W whatnot. Link in description. <laughs> it's Saturday and I decided it might be a nice afternoon to clear out some of what I got in the garage. Like, this stuff needs to go upstairs. You know, I've been living here for like three months. It's gotta go to a place where it belongs. I emptied out this box, which had, I'll show you the sets it had inside, had these sets. So those will go upstairs into the closet, basically, just so they're out of the way. And these will go to the parts area. And I'm also cooking a little, little something special for the night. Pizza time. Since Blaine's coming over tomorrow, gave me a great excuse to clean the house. And so everything's nice and clean down here now. I just need to wipe down the counters and that I'm working on the upstairs currently. We need to get this box downstairs and put in that corner. It's just stuff that's gonna be outgoing, so it's gonna go down there. This is stuff that I wanna bring to Brickworld if I can, or at least some of it. So I'll bring it all down and then I'll bring whatever back up that doesn't fit in my car in a week. I was able to clean this room completely. Pearson will be in here working tomorrow on the Death Star again, so he'll have a clean working space, which will be nice. This is kind of my disaster room right now, although I think it looks a little bit better than I, I feel like it is, um, but yeah, this room is, uh, this is the temp setup still, maybe about another month on this, and then this room will, will transform again, um, but yeah, still, still gonna be the temp setup for about another month. Maybe this desk too, I feel like my gaming setup's nice and clean, and then I just kind of let everything else become a disaster for no particular reason, so we'll do that. So I got a couple packages in. One of them should be all but the custom printed torso and legs I need for Zeb. And the other is from the one and only Bricks on the Dollar. So I almost forgot to pay for this one for my custom Zeb figures. I literally was looking at my Bricklink orders and I was like, I wonder when my hands for Zeb are gonna show up. And I realized I hadn't paid for the hands for Zeb. So now I've paid for them, now they're here. Crisis averted. And then I needed more of a special thing for my special World's Smallest Lego Store project. And it just so happened that Bricks on the Dollar had like 30 of them. 
so I picked up more Generso heads. Yippee. We'll just get these added to the collection over here, going off to Brick World. Now this box is pretty much ready to be sealed. I don't really want to put anything else in here. 5,000? Oh no, less than that. I think it's like 2, probably about 2,500 left. Maybe. Where did these come? Did these come from Aaron? No. All right, we came back to the Brick Show place. Jason's over there packing some items for us. Um, but what do you think, La Kobe? What? Not a Kobe. You missed. You walked right Kobe. by it. Well, it's not real Lego. So. It's Kobe. I didn't say it was. I walked I said right it's past, Kobe. If it's not real Lego, I walk Why right past Why are you stopping it. in front of the I Max brick right then? It. Well, you stopped me. It's real Lego right there. <laughs> See? Yeah, he's definitely been doing a little work cleaning this place up. I don't know. I, I'm just getting some product here for the world's smallest Lego store, Brickle Chicago, that I'm excited for. But yeah, it looks nice and organized. Got some of the ooh, bricks or plates back here. Some nice plates, maybe. Oh, I think I'm getting these, these AT-AT crossings. So if you go to the World's Smallest Lego store, you can get those. Um, maybe you'll get the Manda logo, I don't know. I don't see any other Star Wars-y ones, at least, that I can pick out. It's so nice being conveniently close to like places like this. It's kind of awesome like to just be able to drive five minutes and come hang out for an afternoon or whatever, you know? Blaine said we, he really wants to go to this toy store over here. He we, said they are gonna have good stuff guaranteed. Turn. I think we're supposed to go. I think it's fate. We're going. All right, Davies Toys. Let's see. Let's see if it's any good. Okay. This is pretty yeah. neat. 2002. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Couple Lego sets, spread, decent prices. But, you know, Ask Lego for assistance. You're too short, Blaine. I know. You can't reach the top shelf. That's what it says. I don't make the rules. Um, Yoda for 80 bucks is good. Luke's Landspeeder 225, 55 on the tie bomber. These are good prices. It's not bad. The no one wants to buy it set, $28. Christmassy set, 40. Gingerbread house, no. <gasps> Connects rip and go. That's kind of neat. Corey's here. We brought Blaine, showing him the office. Well, Blaine, what do you think? This is this is the new home of MR Productions Incorporated. Do I get to keep the shelf too, with all the figures? Yeah, I found that. UCS Boba? You know, this is valueless now because of the mech. Really? No. <laughs> uh, I get to keep the whiteboard, though. I like that. I need the whiteboard. That's, nice. that's very goals. important. Here you go. Looks like a little real estate office. Yeah, yeah. Sales, sales goals, goals I $12. All this last week, you bought all this from where? Ninjago a City? Local, a local seller. My goodness. Yeah. No Star Wars, though. Some lame collector. Yeah, gold Kingdoms, though. Oh, yeah, the gold. My favorite thing. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Gorgeous. Nice. Not a single Star Wars. Nope. This ain't my office. Already priced, too. Yeah, I did all that. Can I make the first purchase ever? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need anything. Look at the battle droids. Where? I haven't broken any legs. Thank God. Oh, Oops. yeah. If it was the light blue ones, you'd be in trouble. So they've done a little bit of work in this, this room here. Blaine's taking in the view from the top. Look at those views. Oh, yeah. Man. Views, baby. Um, but, yeah, so the floor's kind of been cleared off a lot, and then the walls, they, they're, they're filling in spots, I guess, at some point, and I'll be able to paint it. But, yeah, this room's a bit of a mess right now, but it'll come together nicely, hopefully. Got to clean that door, too. <laughs> well, it's Wednesday, and I was hoping my Tenu Jedi Temple would show up today. It did not, but UPS did bring some other goodies, and... I gotta bring all those packages to the post office. Those are some whatnot packages uh, from things y'all bought. But uh, first things first, I got my stickers for the custom Zeb. So out of 165 there. And then we got these that say Brick World exclusive holographic little things that'll go on the front. Looks cool to me. Uh, so very happy with the way those turned out. It started raining outside, but I have unpacked everything. A lot of these are key lights. Um, some of these are like Batman pens. I guess you can barely maybe see it in there. Um, and then I think these are Yodas? Baby Yoda? No, 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 these are gel pack 10 packs. So these are these. Those will be at the world's smallest Lego store and anything left will end up on whatnot. So you'll have to wait for that. But if you go to MNR Mega Store, you'll see them there as well as the four packs. Well, the 10 packs I think I'm gonna open so that people can pick any color they want versus the four packs just have kind of like the four main colors. But if you want like a black one and you just want a black one, yeah, you can get that, you know, versus having to pay the however much a 10 pack is to get the whole thing to get just the one color you want. Anyway, that's good. Everything's set up like this now, just kind of 
thrown about in here. All right, and with all that done, I'm heading back to Melbourne to hopefully get some stuff on my storage unit and other miscellaneous items I just need to bring home that I haven't brought home yet. First stop in town, Walmart, because I saw there might be some clearance deals at Walmart for Lego Star Wars, so, you know, we're gonna check it. Who doesn't love the good Walmart part that doesn't stay straight when you let go of it? They really don't have a single thing on clearance. I saw a bunch of pictures of different Walmarts with clearance. Goes to show you, I don't always win, I guess, with, with clearance. People think I always find everything. I, there's literally nothing on clearance here. What a shame. Man, I really thought I was going to get lucky today. I guess they might be a few days out from doing it, because it's got to be preparing for all the summer stuff. They don't even have Harry Potter summer stuff. That's... Man. Walmart down bad. I guess this might be like the newest stuff they have is these poly bags. I hadn't seen this one in the store yet. That's nice. Well, 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 if it isn't the room that just never, ever gets clean, no matter how much stuff I take out of it, there's still more stuff in here. Oh my God, it's the bane of my existence. What have I done out here? My God. I just realized it was my intention to bring the Death Star home today. So... I gotta figure out how the heck I'm gonna get that in the front of the car. So I got this box of stuff going in the back of the car. Got Yavin V19, a little bit of Bespin and some box sets, good stuff. The Death Star would not fit in the original box we wanted. So we're gonna get a bigger box for it. We got some of the other parts there. And then the Star Destroyers have a few pieces that have fallen off over the years, but you know, they've stayed generally clean. So I'm happy with that and I'll, I'll get them fixed at a later date, but getting the Death Star home now is priority one. And now there's actually table space in this room out here, I also kind of broke more of the Star Destroyer's panel on the bottom here. So that's gotta be fixed at a later date. All right, made a box, put a bunch of blankets and sheets in it, and that will hold the Death Star well enough for me. Hazard tornado. Source radar indicated rotation. Ah. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. That's just great, you know. Definitely, definitely what I had in mind for my day is tornadoes. So we're getting some sets right now for the m and Shop World Smallest Lego Store. But, you know, I'm not going to bring too much stuff back. I don't need a ton of stuff. I just need some of the battle packs, some of the AATs that I want to fit on the store shelves because the battle pack's just so iconic. I have to sell a few. This stuff's not retired, so I'm not going to screw with it. This isn't retired, so I'm not going to bring it, you know, and it's stuff. These are bigger boxes that I don't really have the space to bring in my, my car. I drive a Mustang, don't have a lot of space. So we're just going to bring in a few things here today. And all of it obviously also still has to fit with everything else that I'm bringing to Chicago. Is that a sealed gin air cell? Wow. Just incredible stuff to find here. It's sturdy and durable. I hope so, sitting on the shelf for that long. All right, this is what the trunk looks like in case I didn't show it. Yavin's in there, some slave ones. But yeah, just getting all that stuff home. And then I filled the back of the car with a few big boxes nicely. So getting more stuff home out of the storage unit. Just another step towards the eventual goal of not having a storage unit because it costs too much money. And all the stuff out of my trunk, which means I have an empty trunk and which means I can start to fill it up for Brick World. So I wanted to bring all of these like displays for the uh, figures or for like the keychain figures. But what I realized and what I was planning to do anyway, more or less, is that like as sales are going and assuming I'm making sales, I guess, if people want to buy things at the store, you know, these are going to empty and I'm going to refill them. But I think it will take up a lot of space in my trunk if I just bring all of these versus the amount of space if I just take the figures off of this and just bring the figures. And then I can bring one of the base for each display I have and then just bring the figures for the rest and that saves me a ton of space. Yeah, and so like when I have the one at the place, I can just plop them back on like that and it'll be good. But yeah, this is gonna save like 10 times the space, you know? Like this was originally a whole box to bring just this many and now I don't, don't, now I don't need it, I can toss this. Sweet. So I just condensed four boxes and a box of Batman figures into one box that I already put in the car. I'm so happy with myself. And mind you, I wanna fit a lot of what's over there in the car and as much of this in the car as I can. I mean, there's a lot to fit, so every inch matters here. That's what she said. <laughs> this is attempt number two at condensing boxes. I think I already put a sealed box in the garage or in the car, and then I have one and three more boxes to go into this to condense four into one and then hopefully fit a little bit more on top, but I'm still in love with this plan. 
So I have organized the first order generals. This should be a good enough bin to take them in the car with. And this is kind of how they'll be displayed in the store, just more nicely than that. I just need to get them to the place they need to go first. So I think that's gonna work. Should fit in the back seat, put a box on top of it. They won't go anywhere, ideally. So I just did a hundred of these Brickworld stickers, the holographic stickers. These ones weren't as straight as some of the other ones that I did, or at least as even compared to the others, but you get the point. It's a little tedious. You have to cut them in half because the small sticker I could get is one by one. I couldn't get like one half by one. So I have to cut them all out individually in half so that they can fit, but that is a hundred. I still need to do 65 more. Um, Pearson was working on the numbered um, backings. So I'm going to go in and write it in Sharpie on there of like how many it is or what specific number it is out of 165. So we also have some of the hands coming together and we're just waiting on the torsos and legs that were printed and everything else will be good to go. It's Friday. We're running out of time for Brickworld prep. Uh, last pickup from Jason at Brick Show Build Better Bricks. One of the two. Um, so we're getting more product from him today and then working on videos so that I actually have videos while I'm not home because I've been slacking. So while I was over at Jason's, I picked up a few things, including some custom 501st tiles that just look beautiful. So happy to have these. Uh, only got a hundred to start. We can definitely make more in the future. I assume they'll sell out at Brickwell Chicago, but we will see. And then we also got this in the mail finally today. Uh, the Tenu Jedi Temple, so I just finished recording the intro and I'm about to record the unboxing, so let me get to that. Saturday now, and we are about to destroy that knockoff Death Star that I bought for the video. I'm very excited about that. All right, it's time to fill up the car with all of the things I need for Brickworld. Well, at least the trunk. I want to fill the trunk today. And then I'll do like the main seating of the car tomorrow on Monday. This is by far the most efficient I've ever had to be and have been with the space in the back of my car. I don't know if you've seen the uh, border crossing shows where they inspect cars, but I'm like, could something fit in there? Like I'm like really thinking outside of the box here. So this is what the completely full trunk looks like. Lots of boxes under there. I just tried to fill in as much space as I could to fit as much product for M&R Megastore as I could. For all I know, half of this won't sell and I'll be bringing it all back, but I figure better to have more than less. So we got that. And then the entire back of the car right now is basically still empty. I do need to bring my suitcase and stuff. So that's got to fit. Uh, ideally I'll put it in the front so I can get it out easily when I stop at a hotel. But you know, we got a lot of space back here to work with still. So hopefully um, I need to fit. What more do I need to fit? Some of these would not be bad to fit, but I definitely need to fit the Generosos. I was hoping to fit this stuff, but I don't know if it's gonna fit or not. Um, I definitely need to, need to fit these figures, these containers. Um, I don't know if they'll fit the space perfectly or not, but if they don't, I'll just buy more at Target in Chicago because they're Target containers. So like they're easy to get, not a big worry to me. I'd like to fit more of these and these, you know, these can fit like under the seats and stuff. So there, there's plenty of space back there to keep, keep making this work. But yeah, I should probably pack my suitcase or at least start. It's Monday and today is the last day for Brickworld prep. I am awake bright and early. I woke up around 8 a.m. because my FedEx package said it would deliver between 8.30 and 11.30. Can't risk not being awake for any of that window because it's signature required. So I had to be awake for it. So you already know we're starting with the best part of the day, Chick-fil-A by DoorDash. And an hour later, my package has arrived. No problems. So we should have a ton of figures in here. Got to open this up though. And here we are, today's workload. 450? That doesn't even feel like 450, that's insane. That's uh, that's that. And we have some m &R torsos and heads, but no hair pieces or anything. I was not able to get that done. And then we have the, the Zeb figures. So a lot of figure putting together today. Well, the suitcase fits, so that is good. That's how I intended it to go. We'll do a box here, backpacks here, and then put a blanket over all that and basically be good to go. Car's almost ready. 